So you guys caught me again. Last time it was lunchtime. This time it's snack time. And I was um, getting a snack. But you know what? I can actually use my snack today. And um, maybe you guys want to play a game. You want to guess what my snack is? Okay. So I need to describe my snack to you so you can figure out what my snack is. And um, I'm going to use my five senses. You're going to use your five senses, kind of, and to figure out what my snack is. What are the five senses? So we have five senses. We can feel things. We can touch them. We can smell them. We can hear them. We can see them. And we can taste them. So I am going to describe my snack. See if you can figure out what it is. Unfortunately, you can't touch my snack, but I can describe what it feels like. It feels smooth. And um, there's some straight bumps in it when I feel it. It's really thin, um, and, but it's wide. Hmm, it's pretty long. And uh, maybe like really tiny bumps, really tiny bumps in it. Okay, so how about I describe what I smell? It smells good. If I told you exactly what it smelled like, you would know what it was. So I'm not going to tell you exactly what it smells like, um, but it smells yummy. Here. Were you hearing anything when I was touching it? Maybe you can hear it now. Hmm. Does that sound like anything you know? It's kind of weird, isn't it? See. Should I describe what I'm seeing to you? Let's try that. Let's see if you can figure it out by me describing what I see. So, um, the object that I have for snack is brown. And it's um, thin, and it's pretty smooth, but there are some long lines in it that looks like you could um, break it apart. You want to see it? Okay. Here's my snack. Don't worry. This, this takes me an entire week to eat. Ah. Now do you know what my snack is? Yeah. It's, it's chocolate. Wait a minute. I didn't get to the fifth one. Uh, the taste. The taste it is yummy. Scientists use their five senses to be able to describe things. And you are going to get to describe things as well. I want you this week to be a scientist at home. I want you to pick a food, your choice, and I want you to describe that food using your five senses. Touch, smell, hear, see, and taste. Now, usually as a scientist, we're not going to taste whatever we're experimenting with. However, um, because I'm specifically asking you to use food to practice using your five senses, you're going to get to taste it. Now, why are we doing this? We're doing it because we're still studying matter. Matter's anything that takes up space. So we have to be able to describe these things that take up space. And eventually, starting today, we're going to need to start figuring out if they're solids or liquids. So, once we can describe something, we then have to say, is it a solid or is it a liquid? And because lots of snacks and foods can be solids or liquids, it's a great place for us to start and begin thinking about the difference between solids and liquids. How are you going to know? So remember my example with my connecting cubes? A solid, you're not going to be able to move through, right? Um, a solid keeps its shape, unless, of course, you act on it and change it. For instance, 
um, I can change the shape of this solid by taking them apart. Just like if I had my apple, I can change the shape of this solid by cutting it in half. But it doesn't need a container to have a shape. So a solid has its own shape. A liquid, however, takes the shape of its container. Next week, we're going to change and we're going to figure out liquids. And that's going to make it a little bit clearer. But remember my dressing that I needed to have in a container? That's because it needs to be contained. It needs to stay in something. Just like that hand sanitizer would be a huge mess if I just dumped it all over my desk. It would take the shape of my desk. I need to keep it in the bottle so it's contained, which is way different than my apple. It has its own shape. I can throw it in my lunch bag and not worry about it. That's because it's a solid. So, your job this week is to tell me, using the five senses chart that I have in your assignment, to describe your food using your five senses. And then I want you to tell me in words what's a solid. Okay, so, so you're going to write about what's a solid. Solids, anything that takes up space, like my apple. It takes up space. So does my chocolate bar. It takes up space. It has its own shape. See? No matter how I hold it, it's going to look the same. Just like my apple is going to look the same because it has its own shape. And it can't change its volume. Um, while I could squish this apple, I would have a mess, but I would still have an entire apple. Even if I cut it up, I'd still have an entire apple. Just like if I took this chocolate bar and broke it into tiny pieces, I'd still have the same amount of chocolate. It didn't make it more, because if it did, I'd be breaking up my chocolate bars all of the time. I'd still have the same amount of chocolate. It's just more pieces. So I can't change its volume. It's going to always remain the same. Those are the three things that we need to remember about solids. You're going to write about solids. Tell me, what do you know about solids? Give me examples of solids. Make sure that you restate the question in your answer.